So a lot of times when users are working with MARC records, they end up getting large sets of MARC records. Um, sets with hundreds, sometimes thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands of records. And you need to be able to edit individual sets of those records. In MarkEdit, there's a program, little program that allows you to select and extract or delete selected MARC records. Um, you'll find it in the main win application window under Tools, Select MARC Records, and you can either delete or extract selected MARC records. Um, from here, you get a little grid view. Um, there's a display field. This is the information that's going to display here in the display field as it reads the record. Um, by default, it's set to title, but you can set it to anything that you like. Um, you basically figure out what your source record is going to be. You set it, and then you import the file. And we see here that the file has been imported, and we get record numbers here. At this point, we can do a number of different searches. And I'm going to note that there's the, in the help file, um, you can follow this up and see um, information about uh, the types of, of uh, selection functionality you can do. Um, you can have large batch sets that are set in a file. Um, you can search by field name. You can search by regular expression. Um, in this case, we'll just search by the display field. So we'll just say Oregon. Um, and do a search. Yeah, it's been selected. Um, we could do it again where we could say something like California and try it. And in this case, only two records are selected. Um, if we wanted to, and let's say we had a large set, we could even have it where we select, um, where we do multiple selections. We do a search and then check that retain selected items and then search again and have it select and retain our old set. Once we have it, we can export those records. And there's a button here called Export Selected. If we click this, we can export the file into um, the mnemonic file format. And the records get extracted. One of the other handy dandy things with this tool is that let's say you have hundreds of thousands of records, you can export these records randomly. So you basically ask, it asks you what percentage of the file would you like to have extracted. You give it a percentage and then it will calculate which records to extract. Let's say we don't need to extract records but we need to delete records. We can do that with the delete function. Functionality is exactly the same as the extracted function except instead of selecting at random, we can delete these selected records. And this button's right here, so if we were to select a record set, import the file, we can see that we can actually check off files and then delete those from our data set. And so this allows us to create small subsets within the records to edit. Additionally, in Mark Edit, in the Mark Editor, there's a function here to select individual records to make. Um, this allows us to take a, a file a larger file, so for example, um, let's say here where we have one, two, three records, we could select the individual records to make, and this will let us take this and say we only want to work with one record and export that individual record. And now we have just one record to work with, and we can compile that record or work with that record. So this allows us to pull subsets of records into the MARC editor for editing um, in a dynamic fashion. Um, but this gives you a, a little bit of functionality in terms of being able to break up those large record sets for editing.